welcome to the next session of the general medicine lecture series and today's topic of my discussion will be mainly focusing upon the pancytopenia so the pancytopenia it is a medical condition in which there is going to be a decrease in the all the three cellular components of blood that is the rbcs the wbcs and the platelets so students this pancytopenia topic this has been very frequently asked and this has been a very favorite questions in the professional exams when you are asked to write about the etiology the mechanism and the the exact mechanism as to how the process of pancytopenia is occurring so students pancytopenia in a general terms it can be defined it is a medical condition where all the three cellular components of the blood are going to be decreased whether it be the rbcs the wbcs or the platelets and the causes can be multiple so students in a person's blood whenever there is going to be a decrease in the, the when the patients when the patient is going to have a decrease in the count of the when the rbcs wbcs and the platelets when they are going to fall down to such an excessive level the condition what is called as the pancytopenia so whenever all the three cellular components of the blood are we are decreased in the blood it is cytopenia what is occurring and if any of the two components that is either the rbcs and the wbcs or the wbcs and the platelets either the platelets or the rbcs if any of the two components are decreased the term it is called as the bicytopenia so students when the word pan means all wherever the term was by splitting the word pan pan cytopenia so pan means all all the three whatever pan the word pan refers to all so all the three cyto means the cells and penia it is a decrease in the counts so whenever where uh, the splitting of the word that is the pan cytopenia actually the name itself is suggesting about there is going to be a decrease in the cellular components of the blood so students if any of the uh, already have discussed pan means all the three so wherever the patient may be manifesting if there is a reduction in the number of rbcs the patient may be manifesting the symptoms of anemia when it comes to decrease in the number of wbcs the patient the symptoms what are manifested it is in the form of leukopenia and whenever there is going to be decrease in the number of platelets so platelets the other name for them it is the thrombocytes so the condition what is manifested it is the thrombocytopenia so in other words the the medical condition that is pancytopenia is actually comprising in the patient the symptoms what are manifested it will comprise all the symptoms what the patients mostly exhibit in anemia in leukopenia as well as in thrombocytopenia so students now uh, while looking at the numerical values as to what is the numerical count and the levels what are going to be depleted to such a severe extent so students whenever there is going to be pancytopenia when it comes to the first manifestation that is the anemia so since the number of rbcs they have decreased so the patients may be um, must be exhibiting about the anemia and the hemoglobin levels the marked hemoglobin levels the no, the hemoglobin levels before um, below which that uh, the patient may be manifesting about the anemia it is when it comes to males so the hemoglobin level is going to fall to a level which is great less than 13.5 grams per deciliter so whenever when it comes to the limit the normal the values below which the anemia is going to occur in males it is usually below 13.5 grams per deciliter when talking of females in patients of pancytopenia there is going to occur the hemoglobin level in when it comes to females it is usually less than 12 grams per deciliter moving on to the next condition that is the leukocytopenia since there is a reduction in the number of wbcs and the standard level the normal range of the wbcs it is mostly from 4000 to 11000 per cubic mm of blood so when it comes to leukopenia in in, in res reference to pancytopenia there is reduction in the number of wbcs below 4 into 10 to the power 9 per liter so students the units you must remember whenever the wbc count is 
be depleted to a level lesser than 4000 mm per cubic m lesser than 4000 per cubic mm of blood the men, uh, men, the manifestations the in pancytopenia the the limit the lower limit it is whenever the wbc count is going to fall below 4000 per cubic mm of blood is the manifestations what are seen it is the condition which is called as the leukopenia and when it comes to thrombocytopenia the name itself is suggesting that penia it is a decrease in the number of blood platelets so the normal blood platelet level in a healthy human being it is from 1.5 4.5 lakhs per cubic mm of blood and when it comes to thrombocytopenia in case uh, in reference to pancytopenia the, thr the thrombocyte level of the blood is going to fall below 1.5 lakhs per cubic mm of blood so these were the numerical values what are in reference to pancytopenia so students when it comes to writing in the professional exams when you are asked to write about the exact etiology it becomes very difficult to pen down and sequence the entire list of the etiologies what are responsible for pancytopenia so students when looking at a broader perspective in broader terms we can classify that the etiology for pancytopenia it can be either cancer in the patients of can cancer it can be either infections or it can be some toxins. So the condition of pancytopenia, it is mostly manifested whenever there is going to occur these three conditions, either it be the cancer or the infections or in the form of some toxins. So whenever, when looking at the etiology, so on a broader perspective, the etiology upon as whenever there is occurring any kind of a cancer the infections or toxins they are the chief etiological factors what are responsible for causing pancytopenia so students i have made a mnemonic or the short trick as to how we can very easily pen down about the all the list of the etiological factors pancytopenia so students the mnemonic or the short trick what I have easily made for you to remember about the etiology of pancytopenia can be looked upon as the three L's. So students do remember three L's, the five M's and the alphabets A, B, C, D, E, and F. So while looking at the three L's, so the three L's they are going to refer to first is the lymphoma, Next is the leukemias and third is the leishmaniasis. So students, the three L's are going referring to the lymphomas, the leishmaniasis and the leukemias. So the three first things you can mention, moving on to the five M's. So the etiology, the five M's, what are the etiolog etiology for pancytopenia can be looked upon as the first M, the first etiological factor, the first M it is going to refer to the metastatic carcinoma of the bone, the second M refers to the multiple myeloma, the third M refers to the myelofibrosis, the fourth M refers to the myelodysplastic syndrome, and the fifth M it, it is referring to the use of certain medications so certain medications they are also responsible they are also the etiological factor for causing pancytopenia so these were the eight causes the eight etiological factors what are responsible for causing pancytopenia moving on to the next the mnemonic what i'll be discussing it is about the alphabets a b c d e and f so here every alphabet that is a b c d e and f are going to refer to one of the etiological causes for pancytopenia so the first a it is going to refer to the aplastic anemias the second A, it is again the anemia, particularly the pernicious type of anemia. So it is the pernicious anemia, which is another etiological factor for, uh, for causing pancytopenia. Moving on the B to the B, the B is referring to the vitamin B12 deficiency. So it has been found that whenever there is going to be a deficiency of vitamin B12, the 
features the symptoms of pancytopenia it can uh, it is one of the etiological factor moving on to the c the c here refers to the copper deficiency the d refers to the dyskeratosis dyskeratosis congenita it is another medical condition in which the pancytopenia can be manifested the e refers to the erythematosus particularly the systemic lupus erythematosus it is another the etiological cause in which the pancytopenia mostly occurs and the f it is referring to the folate deficiency so if there is a severe or a long term folate deficiency the features that can occur the patient may manifest pancytopenia and the last and the but not the least conditions that is the familial hemophagocytic syndrome so this is another a kind of a syndrome which is chiefly responsible which is which the symptom in which the pancytopenia it is mostly seen last but not the least students so here i'll be mentioning about the viral infections so students there are certain viral infections which can ultimately lead to pancytopenia which can cause pancytopenia and these viral infections they are basically the hiv virus and the epstein barr virus so students this was a short discussion about the exact etiology and the mechanism the type uh, the mnemonic as to how we can very easily remember about the etiological factors for pancytopenia so students moving on to the next uh, point what i'll be mentioning that is the mechanism so when you are asked to write about the mechanism of action of pancytopenia it dalbi um it is mostly seen it can be seen in this disease it is a pancytopenia it is a medical condition so in this condition what is actually happening where is the fault what is actually responsible for the causing for the causation of this pancytopenia so students do remember the disease it is marked by an inappropriate and an in an ineffective t cell activation so students do remember it is only the t cells what are responsible for causing this pancytopenia and the t cell response the t cell activation what is occurring it is actually appropriate or the ineffective t cell activation what is go actually going to cause the phenomena of the phagocytosis so these t cells are going to get modified and they are going to phagocytose eat the all the cells that is the all the cellular components that is the rbcs wbcs and the platelets and also their progenitor cells so the progenitor cells what are responsible for the production of these mature cellular components these in the t cell activation this is the inappropriate type of a pt cell activation and this is actually causing the hemophagocytic activity so these t cells they are going to engulf or they are going to devour these uh, by the process of phagocytosis and they are going to devour the rbcs wbcs and the platelets and also the progenitor cells of them so students this in act this t cell activated macrophages they are going to engulf either be the erythrocytes or the leukocytes or the platelets as well as the progenitor cells and when looking at the iatrogenic causes so iatrogenic causes are the causes what are inflicted on the patient whenever there are such particular drug is administered by a um, medical practitioner so students when looking at the iatrogenic causes there are certain uh, the iatrogenic causes for pancytopenia include the chemotherapy so students as you all might be knowing that whenever there is any kind of a chemotherapy for any kind of a malignancy so most of the anti cancer drugs or the drugs anti cancer drugs they are uh they are exerting their mechanism of action the adverse effects for the uh, of the anti cancer drugs it is the bone marrow suppression so the side effect of the bone marrow suppression by the anti cancer drugs it is basically uh, responsible for the suppression of the bone marrow and when the bone marrow suppression is going to occur so there is an inadequate production of all the three cellular components since 
the bone marrow it is the chief site where all the three cellular components it are, are synthesized in the bone marrow so whenever any of the drugs what are used in the treatment of malignancies they are going to if they are going to suppress the bone marrow the count of the all the cellular components is obviously going to fall so the iatrogenic causes it is the medications what are used what are used in the treatment of malignancies since the see, uh, since the uh, the malignant the, ma the drugs what are used for malignancies they are responsible also responsible for the suppression of the bone marrow as well moving on to the next and uh, yet the causes so there are certain antibiotics and the blood the med medications what are used in the treatment of blood pressure the heart they are also responsible for causing pancytopenia and when looking at the antibiotics that is the broad spectrum antibiotics particularly the linezolid the chloramphenicol can cause pancytopenia in some individuals so students these were the about the iatrogenic causes and rarely there are certain other conditions such as the presence of a certain kind of a viral disease so, so if there are certain viral diseases the wbc count is going to fall because these viral diseases they evoke the uh, wbc's uh, the, uh, the blood, white blood cells they are the first line of drugs they are the soldiers what are going to prevent infections so in the cases of viral diseases and in the cases of mononucleosis as well the pancytopenia may be manifested and last but not the least iv that is the human immunodeficiency virus is itself a cause for pancytopenia so students this is the entire mechanism the mechanism of action of pancytopenia i have discussed it is actually the inappropriately and the ineffective t cell activation which are going to engulf all the three cellular components of the blood that is the erythrocytes the leukocytes and the thrombocytes as well as the progenitor cells so students and one thing more i would like to emphasize here that the phenomena of the hemophagocytosis that is the hemophagocytosis phenomena what is occurring by the inadequate or the ineffective t cell activation it is the hemophagocytosis process it is mostly going to proceed or occur in the liver the bone marrow or the lymph nodes so students the entire phenomena of the hemophagocytosis which is caused by these t cells it is mostly going to occur either in the liver the bone marrow or the lymph nodes and there is a cert there is a syndrome which has been associated with this pancytopenia it is actually the hemophagocytic lymphohistiocytic syndrome so this hemophagocytic the lymphohistiocytic syndrome it is one of the syndromes in which the pancytopenia may be manifested so students this was a short discussion about the condition the medical condition of pancytopenia the causes the etiological factors the mnemonic i have discussed and the exact mechanism of action i have tried to simplify to a much simpler extent i have tried to simplify it to my level best so students if you do like this video give this video a thumbs up and if you do have any queries or comments you are most welcome to comment in the comment section i would love to make a video on your topics so students if you are visiting my channel for the first time if you ha and you haven't subscribed my channel yet you are most welcome you please do go and subscribe my channel and thank you for watching